Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video, we are gonna be comparing Wix Classic versus their latest and greatest Wix Studio. If you're not familiar with it, Wix Studio is the new professional platform targeted for freelancers and agencies so they can build truly responsive websites for their clients. But before we get too far in the video, I do wanna thank all of the channel members who have signed up. And if you're not a channel member and you're just here to watch the videos, you are also appreciated. But if you do wanna support the channel a little bit more and get access to videos early, then you can press that little join button down below the video. I do typically upload videos one to four weeks earlier before they actually go public. So if you want to help support the channel and get access to early videos, then you can press that little join button. But I just wanna give another shout out to the channel members for the support recently. It's kind of been going up a lot faster recently. So I do appreciate it y'all. Um, but let's get back to the video. Last year I released a video comparing Wix Classic to Editor X. Now, if you're not familiar with Editor X, it was kind of the predecessor of Wix Studio and it was so much more complex. Now with the news of Wix Studio, they have basically stated that here pretty soon, if not already, Editor X will be discontinued and Wix Studio is basically taking its place. Now I will say in that video, my opinion was a little bit more black and white because I think that newer users and non-web designers should use the classic Wix editor and then the professionals and agencies should use Editor X. That opinion was much more black and white because Editor X was just so much more complicated. However, Wix Studio does seem to be the best parts of Wix Classic and Editor X. And I no longer think that you need to exclusively be a professional to build responsive websites. So the question no longer is which editor is right for which user. It's more of can non-web designers and newer Wix users use Wix Studio? And a few weeks ago, I actually put this to the test. I had one of my non-web designer friends who has never used Wix before try and build a responsive website in Wix Studio. And the results were actually pretty surprising. He was able to build a fully responsive website in Wix Studio. Now, yes, he did have some design mistakes that a professional might not have made, but what I will say is those design mistakes are what I might typically see from a non-web designer, even in the classic editor. So in comparison, at least with Wix Studio, he did end up with a fully responsive website. I would like to start the comparison between the two editors by stating something that might be harder for newer users to understand inside the classic editor. In the classic editor, you need to place your content inside of the grid lines. And if you don't, then you risk your content being clipped or completely off screen on smaller devices. This can lead to frustration when your content isn't being viewed as you intended. And even though the classic editor does warn you not to do this, I, I don't really feel like there's too much emphasis on that. I really do think it would be useful if the classic editor did not even allow you to place content outside the grid lines unless you have something like dev mode toggled on. I do think that would be really helpful for the newer users, but it doesn't do that. So there's not really too much emphasis on not placing things outside of the grid lines. And then when they publish and people pull up their websites, then content will not be exactly where they thought it would align. But with Wix Studio, there are no grid lines and users can just drag and drop things to wherever they want. And for the most part, it's gonna look exactly the same on all different types of screens. So even if you're not using the pro tools built into Wix Studio, I do think users can can benefit from the responsive behaviors already built in. And because there are no grid lines, it is just a little bit more of an intuitive drag and drop web builder. So for this, I do think I have to give a point to Wix Studio. Now let's chat about mobile. With Wix Classic, I do believe it does a decent job at assuming a layout for you in some cases. Not every section on the Classic Editor will do this, and sometimes you just need to do a complete overhaul for mobile. However, in Wix Studio, it doesn't assume anything. So every single section you are gonna need to manually change and tweak, especially with text sizes and button sizes, they get so tiny that you can't even read it. So if a user pulls up your website on their phone and tries to read or click on a button, they're gonna have a hard time doing that if you don't go in there and tweak it. And if you're not used to Wix Studio and just common practices for mobile, then you may not understand inside the editor how it's gonna look. So if you publish without tweaking the mobile, then you could end up hurting yourself more than if you just stuck with the classic editor. Now Wix Studio does have responsive AI and that is an amazing feature that will help design the different breakpoints for you 
using AI. That feature is still in beta and it's not perfect for every single section, but I do think even at its worst, it does give you a good starting point that you can go in and further tweak. However, if you are a new user, you may not even be aware of this feature and it is a little bit tucked away in the sections action bar. So you might not even be aware of that feature. So if you're not aware of this feature, then you're probably not gonna be using it. And again, that's gonna make your mobile not look as good if you don't go in and tweak it manually. Because of this, and because I think the classic editor's mobile design is just a little bit more straightforward, I am gonna go ahead and give a point to the classic Wix editor for this. Now here's where the comparisons get a little bit hard. I try to find features that newer users would care about so I could compare it, but everything else that I think a new user would really care about is available in both editors. The only thing that I will say is potentially some things are just a little bit easier to access in the classic editor. For example, with the media library, if you want to upload your own images in the classic editor it is right there. You can just press the media icon in the left hand menu. It's as easy as that. However, in Wix Studio, you have to press the add icon and then go down to media to access the media library. For the most part, it's the same exact thing. It's just one extra step and it's placed in a different spot. Same with animations. You can just select an element and then press the little animation icon and add an animation very quickly. However, in Wix Studio, you actually have to select an element, go to the interactions tab and add an entrance animation. And I also will say just the interactions in general might be a little complex for newer users as well. But at the end of the day, both have both options. So I don't really know if I should really warrant giving a full point to Wix Classic, just because both options are there for both editors, just they're placed in different areas inside each editor. But if you think it warrants a full point to Wix Classic, let me know in the comments below. So at the end of the day, both editors have a point and I'm not really sure who I can give an extra point to to give that extra notch up. But what I will say is maybe you are someone that that doesn't really care about the mobile breakpoint, or maybe you prefer Wix Studio's mobile editor. In that case, maybe Wix Studio would have two points and that one should be the best option for you. Or maybe you like the classic editor's grid lines because they help you kind of organize your website a little bit more. In that case, maybe the classic editor is the best option for you. So to me, I think this is just a person by person case. I will say, I think if you are a professional or an agency, Wix Studio should be a no brainer. And if you are a non-web designer who is a brand new user to Wix, I might say you want to start with the classic editor just until you kind of get a good idea of how the whole Wix ecosystem works. But if you've been with Wix Classic for a while and you want to try to try something new and maybe have a fully responsive website, then I do think if you're already familiar with the Wix ecosystem, then upgrading to Wix Studio might make the most logical next step for you. And my friend from the previous video is proof in itself that you can still have a really nice responsive website even without having to use all the pro tools built into Wix Studio. So why not try it out? If I had to make a very bold prediction on where I think Wix will be in the next five to 10 years, I'm kind of leaning towards Wix Studio just becoming the Wix default editor. As Wix Studio evolves and maybe responsive AI gets even better, we can see an editor where you don't even have to touch the other breakpoints at all. Maybe responsive AI is gonna start building out the other breakpoints while you're designing the desktop breakpoint. That would be crazy, but I could definitely see that happening. So if we get to that point, then I don't think Wix will really see a need too much for the classic editor and maybe Wix Studio will just become Wix. Now, I do wanna say I don't have any insider knowledge or anything, and this is just a complete guess, but I could actually see it happening. If it does, what are your thoughts on that? Regardless, this comparison is not truly black and white. I would say choose the one that just makes the most sense for you. Whether you are drawn to a specific feature or one just looks easier. Wix Studio definitely has more features with less limitation, but I do think the Wix Classic may still be a better starting point for those that are, have never tried any Wix product before. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I appreciate you guys watching. On this channel, I typically teach Wix and Wix Studio. So if you are interested in these type of tutorials, then make sure you are subscribed. Again, thank you to the channel members for helping support the channel. It really does mean a lot to me, but thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next one.